Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. The first thing we need to do is start MySQL Shell. We do this with the MySQL sh command. In this demo, I'm connecting to a local MySQL instance and connecting with a user named Scott. We are also connecting directly to the schema named MySQL underscore shorts. To access the document store API, we need to run MySQL Shell in JavaScript mode. Fortunately, this is the default mode when MySQL Shell is started. Now that MySQL Shell is started in JavaScript mode and we are connected to our database, let's view the list of document store collections on our server. Before we do that, note the message that states the default schema, MySQL underscore shorts, is accessible through a variable named DB. This means any commands we run that start with DB dot will be executed against our default schema. To get the list of document store collections in our schema, we run the command db.getCollections. As you can see, we only have a single collection named restaurant. This is the collection we'll be using in this demo. In our first example, we are retrieving all documents where the cuisine property is equal to bakery. Because we did not specify a way to sort the documents, they are returned based on the order of the underscore ID property. This will typically be the same order in which the documents were inserted into the document store. Note that we retrieved 691 documents, and the last document is the bakery in Manhattan with the name Sweet Generation. In our next example, we will add a call to the sort method. When we call the sort method in this example, we pass an argument that is a string with the value of borough. This means our results will be sorted by the value of the borrow property. If you do not pass a direction to sort, the default is to sort in ascending order. We can see in the results, the last document is in the borough of Staten Island with the name Casales Bakery and Specialty Foods. In this example, we are going to sort the results by the borrow property, but this time we are going to sort them in descending order. We do this by adding DESC to the argument we pass to the sort method. We see that using this sort, the last document is a bakery in the Bronx with the name Morris Park Bake Shop. In the last two examples, we showed how to sort based on a property directly off the root of our JSON document. If we want to sort on a property that is deeper than the document's root, we use a dot delimited path to that property. Our documents have a root property named address that is a JSON object. One of the properties in this address object is zip code. To sort our results by this property, we use address.zipcode in our call to the sort method. With this sort, we see that the last result is a bakery in Queens with the name Ciro's Pastry Shop. To sort by multiple properties, we pass an array to the sort method. Each element in this array contains a string that specifies the property and direction we wish to sort. Remember, if you do not provide a direction, the property will be sorted in ascending order. In this example, we are sorting first by the borough property in ascending order, and then by the name property in ascending order. The result of this sort shows the last document is a bakery in Staten Island with the name The Bake Shop. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.